Hi all, welcome to Tips and Tricks New Horizons London. This time today we're going to be looking at multiple local group policy objects. Now that sounds like a mouthful and group policy objects are never much fun. However, I think this is useful when you see it in the context of Windows 7, which is a new feature, I think you're going to like this. It's the way to control features for different users per their logon account. So what we'll have a look at is first of all a group policy, group policy edit. It's the Microsoft console. Incidentally, if you ever want to find any MSC file, usually, well, most of them, you're going to find them in Windows System 32 directory. MSC is Microsoft console. I'm going to open up the group policy editor. <clears throat> Shows me the software and the uh, Windows settings and the admin templates for either the computer configuration or the user configuration, depending on whether all users are going to be affected when they sit down at the computer, or depending on the users that are going to inherit policies, etc. Uh, so, and up until Windows 7, we didn't have the ability to filter by the user. In other words, I've got one computer setting, one user configuration, and those would be applied to whoever logs on. Now with Windows 7, we've got the ability to do this multiple, for multiple users. Let me demonstrate. If I open up a blank Microsoft Management Console, you can see it there. I'm going to do that as administrator. You can't see that, but I'm uh, prompt prompted for user account control, I agreed. I'm going to add a new snap-in for group policy object editor. And instead of just going, which was previously the way, the only way you could do it for the local computer, I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to go for the user tab. And you can see in there that I can specify administrators, non-administrators, and standard users. Uh, I'm going to add in a couple of users, Joe, Add it again, couldn't do this before. Mark. And then I'm going to hit all administrators. I might, for example, want to apply a policy that says don't restrict administrators from applying a USB stick to the system and letting it auto launch. Anyway, those are my three policies, and I can configure them all separately from my one console. Remember, user and computer configuration was uh, the previous status. If I added in the local computer accounts uh, as it usually as it used to be for Group Policy Editor for the local computer, you will see that for the local computer policy, I have computer and user configuration. Okay, so I don't want to take up your time uh, looking at all the different settings. Feel free to have a little uh, dabble in this yourselves. It is a lot of fun. For example, user settings, let's say for example that in the Windows, I want a software restriction policy for a specific user. How about that? How about I want to restrict control panel details for what the users can see, etc. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into this now. I'm gonna save this as a Microsoft console. Close it down, and I think that's a tip and trick for today. How to manage your users. Remember, if you've got uh, young kids and they are to be restricted from seeing things, uh, however the parental guides you follow have been implemented, you can use this as well. Anyway, just thought it'd be useful. Uh, come back for more tips and tricks soon. New Horizons London. Bye now.